Good afternoon, I'm Lee Anderson. Ever since Idaho banned nearly all abortion services last year, Ben's Planned Parenthood has seen an influx of out-of-state patients. Blake Mayfield tells us about the thousand percent increase. About one in three people is, is crossing the state line um, to access abortion services. The vast majority of that has all been people from Idaho um, and Eastern Oregon. Since August of last year, Planned Parenthood has seen an increase of more than 1,000% in patients from Idaho receiving abortion-related care, from 31 patient visits from Idaho last year to 392 visits this year. Earlier this week, the Associated Press reported that a Pocatello, Idaho woman and her 18-year-old son were charged with kidnapping after prosecutors say they took the son's 16-year-old girlfriend out of state to get an abortion. The teenage girl told authorities she traveled to Ben's Planned Parenthood, about 550 miles from Pocatello, with her boyfriend and his mom in May to get the abortion. With our current capacity, uh, we have, we've been able to increase some staff and so forth and, and been able to um, accommodate everybody who needs our services at our, at our current location. The executive director of Oregon Right to Life thinks Idaho already has adequate abortion access, though the state only allows abortions in incest and rape cases and if the pregnancy is detrimental to a woman's health. And rather than, than um, Planned Parenthood and Bend uh, reaching out and protecting this girl, they committed an abortion and sent her back. Anderson seemed to suggest that Planned Parenthood welcomed the increase in patients. Um, let's be honest, Planned Parenthood is a business. So they're, they're, they're seeing an increase in patients. They're also seeing an increase in, in profit. Planned Parenthood only has two locations east of the Cascades in Oregon, a location in Bend and another just three miles over the Idaho state border in Ontario that opened in March of this year. If people have complications or they need more support or more services, they're able to, they don't have to travel quite as far if they need to be seen again. I mean, I think Planned Parenthood should stop doing abortions altogether um, if they want to provide, if they want to provide um, health care for women, then provide health care for women, but abortion is not health care. Planned Parenthood says even with an influx of Idaho residents, they're still able to see all their Bend patients. In addition to an uptick in abortion services, Ben's location has seen more birth control and preventative care visits in the past year. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21.